Yes then guys, I'm back with another Team of the Season player view. It's so early in the morning, it's like half six at the moment. I'm getting the recording in before work. I've got my coffee, I've been blinded by the sunlight, but let's do this. The MLS Team of the Season came out last night and there's some really nice cards to get your hands on, but we're checking out one man in particular in today's video. It is a man from Peru who has been absolutely tearing up for the Seattle Sounders this season. It is a guy who goes by the name of Raul Ruiz Diaz. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I am a massive fan of the secondary team of the seasons this season. I honestly prefer them to the main leagues, like the Liga 1 and the Premier League. I don't know what it is about me, I just enjoy giving some love back to the, the lower, underappreciated cards in the game. So the more unique cards in more unique leagues, like the MLS for example, the Aussie League. And there's some hidden gems in there guys, that's kind of what I enjoy discovering in FIFA 21. And this man, I'm hoping, is going to be a hidden gem. So Raul Ruiz Diaz is 5'7", high medium, right footed and 4 star, 4 star. And the attributes for this man, the MLS team of the season has actually been pretty juiced up. There's some crazy looking cards out there. The nanny card looks mind blowing. Going into some more depth about Rui Diaz, the pace is there, the 93 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. We probably don't need to be touching that with a chem style. You could juice it up. I mean, there's no harm in having 99, 99 across the board, but I'm happy with 95, you know, I'm happy. Shooting wise, this man should be clinical. He's got 94 attack positioning with the marksman chem style. We go up to 99 finishing, 94 shot power, 99 long shot. So you already know that I'm going to be testing that out in today's video, guys. We're going to be pinging them left, right and centre. Going for the top bins from 40 yards. Passing stats are pretty respectable for a striker. The link-up play probably isn't the strongest part of his game by the look at it, but 86 short pass, he should be able to pass a ball more than 5 yards, which is a little bonus, I'm not going to lie to you. Dribbling wise, he fits the meta bill. I'm not all about the meta normally, but I'm not going to complain if I'm using a player who is super agile on the ball. We've got 97 agility, 99 balance, 95 reactions. Ball control gets juiced up to 95 or so, and then we get a cheeky 97 on the dribbling stats. So very, very solid dribbling. I'm hoping he's going to feel super tidy, super agile on the ball. Moving over to the physical stats, 99 jumping, 99 stamina. He can leap like a salmon. He runs like Mo Farah. We're a big fan of that, guys. The one downfall, though, the strength. 74 strength. It is juiced up by a plus 8, so we're at 82. But still, for a man who's 5 foot 7, I'm slightly hesitant. I feel like he might get bullied a little bit, but hopefully I am wrong. Hopefully he is a little pit bull. If only he had higher aggression, it might be a bit more harder to tackle him, but we shall see how he does in game. In regards to player traits, we've got power free kick, which is a nice little bonus, and outside the foot shot, so he does have a finishing trait. That should be helpful, especially when you're rocking 99 finishing on the card. I'm hoping he's going to be lethal, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, and he's also got a few CPU AI traits. So overall, the card is looking very strong. I do have high hopes for this man, but let's go meet the boys that he's going to be rocking with. Oh, the lads. The lads, the lads. Here we are. We've got Basti coming back into it, Mr. Spinesteiger, and Big big man Paddy V holding down the midfield, two absolute icons, I mean when I say I mean icons, serious serious ballers in the real world and they are here to help Mr Rui Diaz get him on as much chemistry as possible, we've got Insigne my red player pick on the left midfield position with Hernandez and the back five is pretty much the same as what you would have been seeing in majority of my recent player views, these are the Bundesliga boys, they're going nowhere for now and Babu, Tapsoba and Bender are my boys. And then a man who I packed on my guaranteed Bundesliga team of season pack who I just completely ignored, I put him to his side, I thought you know what he's going to be rubbish. Mr. Thomas Muller. Trust me, as a centre midfielder, I'll show you how we're lining up in game in a second. He's, he's, a little, he's a little bit of the source, you know. So moving over to custom tactics, we're doing press after possession loss, 5 whip and 7 depth. That's my go-to, you know the drill by now, boys. How we're lining up in game is a 4-3-1-2. Georgie Best and Raul are going to be our two strikers. We've got Insigne in the little pocket causing a madness. Bastian Schweinsteiger, Patrick Vieira and Thomas Muller in the midfield three. You imagine that in the real world, guys. It will be deadly and the back four stays the same. And one thing to note, we have changed the kits. We've got the Seattle Sounder kits in this video and I'm so damn hyped. These were like the go-to back in the day. They had the Xbox sponsor, I think it was. Yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty stuff. But that is how we're lining up a game. They are the formation and the tactics. As of 6.46 on Tuesday morning, our man Rui Diaz is going for about 50K. And there's not actually that many on the market. It is super early on a Tuesday, so it's understandable that not a lot of people are playing FIFA right now. But yeah, 50k for a man who has these attributes, I'm pretty excited. I mean, we tried out Team of the Season McLaren in yesterday's video, 
and I got him for 35k and that man was incredible. So in today's one we are not going to be live coming, I'm going to be doing a montage format guys. I'm going to try and rotate between the two until my PC gets here and once the PC gets here we're going to be streaming majority of these player views. So make sure to go drop me a follow on Twitch guys, the link is in the description. But we are sat at 2200 skill total guys, I don't know what has happened. I've not been losing, I've been winning. And only winning, trust me. I dropped to almost 2,000 skill total a few days ago, but I don't know what's happened, guys. We struck form, the 4 3 1 2 is working hard, and we're up to 2,200. So it's going to be sweat central, but I'm going to play three matches with Ruri Diaz, try and compile all the clips into a little montage, test out this man, every attribute he has. We're going to see if he's worth the 50,000 coins. He's hard to link as well, that's one thing to note. From Peru, there's not too many big boy Peru players. Actually, hold up. I knew it. There is actually another Peru team of the season, guys. Carrillo. He actually looks really solid as well. I probably should have linked him for today's video, but we are a little bit too late. But if you do have this man as a red player pick, it's a bit of an easier link. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you after the montage. So six goals and one assist in the three games for Raul Ruiz Diaz. And I just realized I only, he only cost me 43.7K. I started to on the 59th minute super late at night. Sleep has not been a thing for me, guys. I am truly on the grind and loving every second of it. So I've actually made a bit of money if he's going for 50K, which is nice to see. But Raul Ruiz Diaz, are you worth it, my son? Are you underrated? Are you underappreciated? Yeah, he's class, mate. Finishing wise, he's lethal. Definitely another hidden gem to add to the collection of saucy looking team this season. Darnus, the dribbling stats were, that was probably the thing I noticed first straight away. Super agile on the ball, super light footed. He feels like he's gliding. He's floating across the field. The one thing though, I called it before I did the player view, the strength was a bit of an issue. There were a few times where he got body bagged. 
Like, I literally tapped Sober, like, breathed on his shoulder, and Rui Diaz was flying across the map, falling over. But, I mean, there were occasions where he kind of shrugged off players, and Babu, you know, little, 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 little something, something there, little shoulder barge, and then Babu was in the bin. So, very solid card. The strength was the issue. Uh, finishing wise, really, really solid. Right foot, left foot seemed to hit the back of the net majority of the times. Uh, going forward, passing, I didn't notice it too much to be fair, so that's probably a good thing. Link at play was solid. Pace, he's quick. I mean, he's a quick man. You probably could juice it up just the 99 99 if you're all about the pace abuse. But going forward, I would recommend a marksman chem style just to help with the rest of the dribbling stats. Because he goes up to pretty much a high tier 90 dribbler. And a physical, you need that little boost of strength, guys, trust me. But another really, really solid card, guys, and a massive tick in my book for the MLS team of the season. If you get this man as a red player pick, don't overlook him. Give him a go. Get him in your team. Try him out. Get Castillo for the other Peru links. Mix it up, guys. We're getting towards the end of FIFA 21. Now, let's have some fun with it. Mix it up. Try some new players out. Anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed this one as always. Let me know down below if there's any MLS team of the season cards that you want me to check out next. And I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.